All right, it's still Friday. We're getting ready to put this front and back glass in. <clears throat> so the process to this is you put your clips all along the flange of where the glass sits. All along, this, I think it comes with 16. They tap on with a hammer. You might need to persuade it a little bit with a screwdriver or whatever, widen it up or close it up a little bit. But the main thing is you want it tight against the tight against the body here because your your stainless molding jams in there and and that's what holds it so when putting these clips on the most important thing is you don't put one directly in the middle you're gonna you want to offset it so the middle I think is somewhere around here so we put one here and one here the reason why you do that is because the, the driver's side molding pops on first and if you have one in the middle it it sits over that it sits into that clip and then your passenger side doesn't have anything to catch on to because that clip is already taken up. So uh, then you have the little buckle piece right here that, that sticks up. It doesn't sit flat because there's no clip to attach. So, uh, so as it is right now, your, your, stain, your, your driver's side is going to stop about, about right here. And the molding's gonna hold, uh, clip's going to hold that molding. And then this one is going to come to the middle with the buckle. And this one is going to hold that molding down. So that's the most important part, but we got those clips on and then we got the rear window here with the new new uh, channel <clears throat> or gasket or rubber, whatever you want to call it. And we, I use the string method here. So what you do is you load the string in the lip. See if I can get a good video here. So I have the string all the way around. string is all the way around the channel one piece so I labeled it so on first you're gonna pull this you're gonna pull this to the left past that so that the rubber pops out and then you pull this to the right all the way around and as you're pulling as you're pulling you're gonna pull this down so that it rolls that rubber and then when you go over here you're gonna pull it like this and then here pull it up and what that does is it's gonna pull this rubber just like that, okay? And it helps if you have another person on the outside of the glass pushing it down, but what it does is it pulls that rubber lip just like that, and it's gonna wrap it around the flange. So right now it's gonna sit. We just set the glass just like that on top. When you pull your rubber string, it's gonna put that rubber under it and pop it underneath, and now, you're, now your channel is sitting all around. That's how your glass is secure. So a lot of people don't know how to do this, or they call people when glass companies or whatever but it's really easy it just uses a piece of string and then after that then you pop all your stainless on but we're not gonna be doing that today we're gonna do front and back glass we'll bring you up back when we uh, start pulling the string are right, you ready so go number two all the way that way you want to pull straight down and you want to see that lip go over around up and around that flange so make sure you pull straight down You working? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Man, that was one hell of a sickness. <laughs> I mean, they got videos on YouTube on how to do this, like on Mustangs and stuff, but I never really seen one on an Impala. Now it's working good. I could say, I could tell, huh? Oh, yeah. It's going around the flange. Yep. Yep. All right. I had to bring y'all back. We made it around the corner. Are we gonna pull up, right? Yeah. That corner's tricky. You have to put. You have to pull. You just pull the string. It'll come out, but you got to pull it hard. And that's really what seats the window. There you go. There you go, you got it? Now you want to pull straight up. Doing good, huh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Uh, bad glare. Yeah, I got a I got the a glare too. But it's working. So we're about halfway done on this back window. Uh, I've never used any any type of sealant 
and I've never had any leaks. You don't want to use windshield urethane. You can use 3M bedding and glazing. It's kind of like uh, what was used in the production in the 60s. It's just some gummy stuff that never gets hard. And all it is is like a water deterrent. But uh, it makes a big mess. I've never used anything other than maybe a little bit of caulking in the corners. If, the, if, this, if you can see through it and you have a hole, put a little bit of dab of caulking just to keep the water out. But I personally, I've done this four or five times and I've never had a, a leak. So we're coming around this last corner here. There you go. Now you want to pull it. Oh, you still ain't got past it? No. You haven't made it around the corner? There you go. Yep, now pull that way. Push a little bit, just a little bit. Push it right here just a little bit. Yeah. Now down. That's it. Glasses in, huh? Yeah. In. Yeah. So all that did, uh, let me get my big hands in here. I don't know if you can see that, but here's the lip. It just pulled it all the way around the flange. There you go. So as we're pulling the string, it's just going around the flange. Now they probably sell a tool for this. Maybe. Maybe get on a snap-on truck or something, but who needs that whenever you have a, a string? Save some money. This glass ain't going nowhere. If you needed to get it out, you can push it out, but it ain't going to come out on its own. Man, it got hot again. All right, part two of this, we're about to do the front glass. Same, same process. Uh, was five clips up top, five clips on the bottom spaced out equally, none on the side because your stainless molding screws into the A pillar. So we put the, the run channel or, or the whatever you want to call it, windshield channel rubber. We put that on, we got our string in, we got our stringer ready to pull, and uh, we're gonna set this in real quick. You ready? Yeah. So which way is number one? To the driver's side. Looks like the dog wants to go for a ride, but we're not ready yet. So same process, push down a little bit. And you're pulling the lip. You want to go past the number two and then do number two. As you can see, he's doing it. It's moving. It's moving the weather strip as he's doing it. I'd go around that clip and then do number two that way. Straight down. Yep, straight down. You want to do what is that perpendicular to however the string is laid in there. The harder it is to pull the string, the better the seal is. I've learned that. So if you're struggling to pull the string, if it's really hard, that means it's getting a good seal. And it's bending around that flange. But you can see as he's pulling it, this it's pulling the rubber. See? It's moving it. It's resetting it. So coming along pretty good so far. Now you might have a little bit of a see-through here on, on the corners. I know on my car I did. Um, just a little bit of caulking. I think I used like bathroom shower stuff, tub and tile. Just a little dab, let it dry. You don't want anything that dries too hard. I'm gonna pull it that way. You don't want to use windshield urethane. That's not, that's not for this type of seal. I mean, I guess you could, but you'll have a hard time getting it out. So also take note that we haven't put that dash piece in. Um, the reason why, because you would have a hard time pulling the string if that dash piece is sitting up all the way against the glass. So the glass goes first, then that dash trim. And it's pulling it around. You see what I mean though? You wouldn't have room to pull that string. Yeah, there's no way. It, that thing is, it, it sits all almost all the way against it and you would be peeling the paint. Yep. And then you see it, boom, right through the windshield. 
but I'm not having, hardly having to push on this at all, and it's, it's moving along good. And as you can see, as he's pulling the string, it's, it's resetting this rubber. Almost there, about two thirds of the way. Yeah, it's really awkward, especially if you're a big person like me. I can't do that. When we did my car, I have, I have, my, this right here. I have my wife in there just pulling the string. Yeah. Okay, let it go a little bit. Try pulling it that way. There you go. Yep. Corner is the trickiest one. It is the hardest to get around the corner, and I think that's where it makes the best seal because yeah. the corner of the weather strip is thicker. Right. And then as you pull it, you just want to press this down. Yep. Or once you're done, you can go around and just press it in. Have, have it seat there. As you're pulling, hold on, whoa, whoa, watch this other end. Maybe pull that end. Yeah, you don't want to pull one end completely out. Did it go? Yeah. All right. That's it. That's a wrap. And as you can see, it pulls yeah. it around. So this is the lip that you're pulling around the flange. This right here. So the string is just yep. pulling that over the flange. Yep. All the way through. And, and that's then, just, yeah. Just go back and press it in. Yep. It's easy. That took uh, five minutes. Five minutes on video. So there's nothing you need to call the glass company out here to do and charge you a bunch of money. So uh, we're just going to clean this up, put this dash piece in and work on getting this thing on the trailer. We did pop the skirt on. So we'll do a full walk around once we get it uh, ready. All right, just to conclude, this, this red trim right here, dash filler piece goes in last. You can't pull your string with that thing in there because it's gonna peel, it's gonna peel the, all the paint along the edge of that red dash filler piece. So that goes in last. And that's pretty much a wrap. Front and back glass are in. Uh, the clips are in, they're ready to, we just have to polish out the stainless, which we're going to do that in, on another day. But the goal was to get it on the frame, get front and back glass in, and get this thing ready for transport. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed the little tutorial on how to install front and back glass on, uh, I'd imagine, six, all the 60s. What do you think? 58s? I don't know if 58s does this. I don't, I don't, I don't know about those. I've never done them. I've done two, three, and fours. Now i got an ace to do, so. Y'all stay tuned.